Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create the bare bones HUD. So I discussed this HUD and the seven elements in it in a podcast episode number 342. And you can find a link directly above the video right here. But I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to make this HUD. It takes almost no time whatsoever. So let's get to it. The first thing is you're gonna use the Inspired by Harrington HUD. That's right up here. It's one of the default HUDs within Poker Tracker 4, Shebang. Once you select it, you'll see all the different stats that are included already within the HUD. Now, to be honest, I might have made changes to this in the past. I don't know that this is the actual one. Yours might be slightly different. I might have added some flop, turn river, AF. I just cannot remember what it originally looked like, right? But this is what you're going to do. Up here at Options, hit Duplicate Profile and give it a name. Let's say Bear Bones HUD. Cash or tournament, totally up to you, either one. So now we're working on the bare bones HUD. You can see it's exactly the same as in inspired by Harrington. Um, arrange the existing stats. So the stats that I recommend are these seven right here. First off, we got the node editor already there. Player name already there. Hands abbreviated already there. I don't necessarily need to see this, any winning, potentially winning or losing players. Especially with the bare bones HUD, you're looking at using it in tournaments or on anonymous sites where you just don't have a big history on your opponents. Why would you put their win rate right there? It's just unnecessary. You can't really judge anything by somebody's win rate until you've played one, two, 10,000 hands against them, right? So we've got those three covered. Look at already there. Already uh, three sevenths of the way there. VPIT, PFR, awesome. Those are there already. Three bet. Now, three bets over here. Just click it, drag it up to where you want it. Now, this is how I prefer to look at my HUD. Totally up to you where you want stuff. I don't necessarily want these on my HUD, so I'll just uh, select them both, hit the delete key on my keyboard, bam, they're gone. Total AF is now the seventh one, and I generally put this right over here. Let's get rid of river, turn, flop AF, fold to pre-flop three, but sure, you can keep this one if you want, but we are gonna get rid of it. Especially because fold a preflop three bet, I really don't like it. Um, unless it's fold a preflop three bet after raising, that's a more useful one. I don't want to keep C bet flop on here. And the reason why is because I should be the one making more C bets than I am facing them. I don't necessarily need to see my opponent's C betting tendencies. And these accumulate generally after many, 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 many hands, and they become useful after hundreds of hands on a player. We don't need these in an anonymous site. HUD or a tournament HUD either. Now, fold a flop C bet and fold a turn C bet. These are these go beyond the bare bones HUD. Now we have nine elements in our HUD, and I really do like these a lot. And the reason why, uh, because I'm a preflop raiser more often than a preflop caller, I'm going to be the one making C bets. I have the opportunity to C bet, so I want to see what my opponent's tendencies are when facing C bets. So now that we have the seven items plus two for nine, let's just bring this bad boy down. There we go. We got our nine item HUD, the bare bones HUD. You know, two additional ones right here. But there you go. Nice and simple, right? So all you do now is hit OK. Takes a few seconds for it to, you know, save the changes that you made to the HUD. And as soon as, as, soon as it does this, you could start playing your sessions. Uh, turn on the bare bones HUD. Or I got a table. Just open up a random table right here. You can see this is my smart HUD for Poker Tracker 4, but let's go ahead, change profile to the, there it is, cash bare bones HUD. And we could take a look at it in action. Move them around, place them where you want them. Save layout. You can also, if you wanna test this out in your future sessions and you wanna work with it for a while, hit under change profile, go all the way down, set profile as default. So every time you open this table, uh, uh, it's going to be the bare bones HUD every time once you click on that. That's my new default HUD right here. And awesome. Let's take a look. We only have 12 hands on this player, but he's a 42-0. Wow. Pretty loose, pretty darn fishy. No raises at all. Plenty of just V-pipping, right? Oh, and he folds the C-bets 100% of the time. This is awesome. What a great player to be up against, right? After just 12 hands, I already have some pretty decent exploits I can use against them. Now, these exploits aren't set in stone. It's not like he's going to remain a 42-0 forever. 
but this is a really good help, a really good indicator of his general tendencies. Right down here, the grip loose, 22 hands, 36-9. Oh, once again, a very loose passive player. He raises occasionally, folds to see bets on the flop. It is one out of one, uh, but 100% lovely indicator that he's capable of folding. Oh, look at this guy. 64 hands, doesn't fold on flops, but loves to fold on the turn. It is only one out of one. So remember, anonymous sites, tournaments, you don't have a ton of history, but you use what you can. 3911, loose passive player. Oh, with the HUD editor, or with the note editor, I mean, we can always give them the color code green. And actually, this is a pretty darn good table, right? I've got three fish already. Oh, 23 one, another fish. Oh, he's already color coded green, this player. Right here, a fish as well. Now, this is so lovely. And another fish, 46-8. This is the kind of table that you want to play on as much as possible. Some super loose passive fish at your table. But there you go. That's the bare bones HUD. Quick and simple to create. Easy to use on the felt as well for anonymous and uh, 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 tournament play. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Have a good one.